Although the first one that when Hartford paid Bethlehem, like we said, we went to the game. Yeah. Um, two dollar beers. Two dollar beers. Night. Super yep. fun night. Um, the only thing that wasn't that fun, I mean, we ended up tying, uh, but we did get to see the goal in the first half, and it was cool to see Hack down there, obviously. Unfortunately, um, subbed off at halftime. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That was the only part that kind of sucked was that Hack got subbed off, but, you know, resting for the playoffs, I, I guess it makes sense. Um, but Yeah, I mean, even, even though we ended up getting a draw, um, it was a night that was more about the fans inside of the, the stadium Absolutely. than the actual performance. So like the feeling of being there, being with everybody else kind of celebrating, being in the playoffs. And at that point we had no idea the big game that we'd have the, for the next fixture. Yep. Um, but everyone was just there enjoying the the night and, and each other and like the $2 beers. It was a really, really cool yeah, atmosphere. Well, right now for Hartford, everything is pretty much just free soccer. Um, especially, you know, taking out Hack. I think we took three or four of our starters out at halftime. So to concede a goal, you know, it's almost expected, yeah. honestly. Well, and now after, so not to try to jump cut, but mm -hmm. after the pit game that we ultimately ended up winning, now we're down Mandanda because he got sent off. Right. And so we're relying on a keeper who hasn't played outside of that last game. Granted, he played well. Um, it was, it's just really unfortunate. Right. To Although not have I think him. we still have one or two more games before a playoff game kicks off. I'm not too sure. Maybe no, just that was, one. I, that might have been the first playoff game. No, no, definitely not. Pretty sure. No, definitely not. No? That might have been okay. the last regular season or the second to last. I think we may still have to play the Red Bulls, but um, the the pit game was big, so that's one that we definitely didn't get to see a lot of because we, yeah. you know, we weren't at the game. Yeah. And. NYC was on so it was it was sort of like a second screen situation instead of the first uh, well, one. I, yeah I was so I was at work at the time mm -hmm. and so when I'm at work I only get one screen yeah and obviously I had to choose NYCFC right in that situation um, you know if I'm gonna if I'm blowing off work all at work it's gonna be for NYCFC yeah or the Steelers yeah so didn't get to tease too much but you know massive result to huge to like teach ourselves that we can't beat Pitt. Yeah, I didn't think that we ever could. Right. I thought that that was the one team that consistently would throttle us. Mm -hmm. But well, it's a big it's a big mental win going into the playoffs to beat somebody that on the last two games like aggregate beat you 7 to 0. Right. Like well, it's super seven, I mean 7 1 or 7 1, yeah. <laughs> um well no cuz we lost 4 0 and 3 0, I'm oh, saying. Gotcha. Yeah, not including this one nil win gotcha um but it's big you know even though it was only a a one goal win you have to score the one goal and yeah. you have to stop them so i'd like to to talk to the team and just ask them like what the message was before the game and what um like where the inspiration was coming from yeah well i hope it wasn't a case of you know in the other pit, pit games there was something to lose in this game there wasn't really anything to lose right so i hope that's not like foreboding at all about us in big situations right but, you know that's it's all like so what's yeah, the word you yeah, know what I, I mean but i'm excited again saying this again but excited to see what they do um especially in the playoffs yeah see what this team does